Hey everybody, and welcome to another uh, episode of Meet the Speaker for NGConf. I'm Joe Eames, your host, and today with me we have Ankita. Now, it's Sue, right? Yes. Okay. So, really excited to talk to you here today. Excited to let other people get to know you a little bit better as well. So, let's just jump right into it. Um, the first question is the one we pretty much ask everybody, which is, how did you get into programming? Uh, I wanted to be an engineer, just a different kind, and mostly because my dad was an engineer. He was yeah. an electronics engineer, so that's what I studied in my undergrad. But mm -hmm. during the final year, I realized that I was programming just for digital in image processing and things mm -hmm. like that, but I realized I like the logical aspect of programming and I liked programming compared to all the other subjects that I took for being an electronics engineer, mm -hmm. like semiconductors and uh, satellite communication and all of that. Right. So I got into engineering and then I applied for a software engineering related roles after college and I got I got into that and then my first company was Accenture and I was lucky enough to have uh, two mentors who were front end devs and they were really passionate about front end and their passion rubbed on me. So mm. that's how I got into web dev. I, I was hired as a Java engineer and from Java to JSPs to jQuery. <laughs> uh, right. Glad, glad you didn't get stuck in the horrible world of Java. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no matter, everybody, anybody likes Java. Just joking. Just joking. All right. Um, well, let's, uh, you know, you've, you've been programming for a while here. Uh, you know Java, you know JavaScript. Are there any other interesting languages that you know? Uh, I, I, after I learned JavaScript, I pretty much stuck to it and mm -hmm. just experimented with frameworks. There was one that I when I say the name out loud, I don't think a lot of people even know it existed. The YUI DOM. That was what my oh. one of my clients used to use. It was Yahoo's answer to jQuery. And it right. was precursor to jQuery, basically. And right. so different frameworks, but mostly JavaScript and CSS and HTML. That's a, cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that one. I remember. Okay. I don't think, I'm not sure if I ever worked with it, but I do remember that one. Uh, all right, so uh, let's ask uh, maybe kind of uh, interesting, let's talk about Angular just a little bit. What do you think is your favorite part of Angular? Oh, uh, so when I was, I started learning Angular because I just, there was so much buzz around it, whether it was because of Google or how passionate the devs were and I think just the entire community around it is really great and I enjoy working with all the smart people that I meet as a result of them being Angular devs. Not to say that other frameworks people are not smart, but I just happen to really enjoy the community and I think that's my favorite part. And I like how strongly it focuses on performance. Like you just do an upgrade and you get all these little tiny um, benefits for like improving your performance of your app or just like quick wins that you wouldn't have to that you don't have to think of and do by yourself so all right I like that a lot that's cool that's cool all right well on the other side what do you think is maybe the hardest part of angular to learn oh for me personally i think routing just because um, it's 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 really easy to mess it up if you're not yeah. careful so I think uh, you have to be really careful and that's something that unless you uh, like you get stuck or find something that's not working the way you thought it should, that's when you realize, oh wait, I didn't know I'm not supposed to do this versus right, right. the other way. So right. that was I, the other thing that I have personally never even tried to learn just because the whole idea looks, um, the whole idea around it looks convoluted or overwhelming is the schematics that you can create. It just feels like, oh, this is way too much advanced for me and I just steer away from it. And if you, once I maybe get into it, it won't be, but right. I just right. even hesitate to learn from it because I think it's hard. Now I hear you, I feel the same way. All right, uh, so let's let maybe ask you a little bit more serious question. Uh, how do you deal with imposter syndrome when you encounter it? uh that is such a great question because the reason why i didn't even 
think of scheduling one of these interviews with you because I was had severe imposter syndrome. I was like, who wants to know about me? <laughs> but uh, the way I handled that was telling or talking to other community Angular community members, like I don't know if I should even sign up, you know, like I feel like it's meant for John Papas of Angular and not for Nkidasus of Angular. So they just I guess it depends what is the thing that I'm feeling an imposter about. If it's something that I know I just need to be talked up to, I'll just tell everyone like, hey, I'm really struggling with this. How do you feel? And they'll like pump me up and encourage me to do it. And if it's something that like, oh, this should be a simple, like I should know this by now. I've been doing Angular for so long and how do I not know this? Uh, I just remind myself that everyone goes through that and everyone needs to look up documentation. It's just a reminder that just keep telling yourself that and it's okay i think imposter syndrome is a good to have because then you don't feel overconfident and you it, you have that thing in you that you want to keep learning and you want to be a better version of what you are so i don't fight it as such i embrace it and just find my ways to work around it cool cool all right uh so let's do kind of a fun question here one i've never asked anybody before Where's a place on the earth that you visited that you thought was super awesome? Uh, I think I would say Disney World because it's so magical. And that's one place that I keep going back. No, so you're times. talking about the Disney World in Orlando, Florida? Orlando, okay. Disney okay. World, not yeah. Disney World. Yeah. yeah. And um, I just love how every single detail the attention to detail that they have for every ride, like no matter what, where you look, it's not like, oh, this is behind a ride. No one's gonna crank their neck and look, but I'm the observant kind and I always look. <laughs> and mm -hmm. Everything is like on theme, on point, and it's just perfection. So cool. it makes me feel really special when I go there too, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do a good and job like, with and, that. Yeah, and just you just, just it's just happiness all around you, you know, except for when you're stuck in lines for two hours, but you just get, you know, your like co line people, if that's a word, like co passengers. <laughs> right. So, and you play games with them and you can turn that into something fun too. Awesome. All right. So, uh, we're going to uh, finish up here with a bunch of rapid fire questions. So I'll ask you two choices, A or B. You choose one. You could choose both or, or neither if you uh, need to, if you're not familiar with them, but uh, primarily just pick one or the other. No explanation needed. Ready to go? Yes. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see here. Ruby or Scala? Ruby. Okay. Uh, BB-8 or Grogu? BB-8. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, this is one of my favorite ones. Game of, Game of Thrones or Squid Game? None. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Mickey or Goofy? Speaking of Disney. Oh, yeah. Um, Goofy. Goofy. Okay. All right. Uh, American football or European football? European football. <laughs> okay. Uh, sparkling or still? Still. Yeah. Okay. Um, Firefox or Chrome? Firefox. <laughs> really? All right. Nice. Nice. Uh, Thor or Star Lord? Oh, Star Lord. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thor. Thor. Thor? And Thor. Love and Thunder is my top favorite. Thor yeah. Ever. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Oh, well, how about this then? Thor or Mighty Thor? Oh, Mighty Thor. Yeah. 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 Pretty yeah. cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Quidditch or cricket? Ooh, Quidditch. <laughs> All right. Um, last one. This is one of my favorite ones. Billy Eilish or Billy Joel? Mm, I have to go with Billy Eilish. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Also, the song that you guys had for uh, Angler, the NG Conf, I think. Yeah, when right, you yeah. Loved it. <laughs> yeah, that was that was really cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, his daughter did fantastic. Cool. Well, Thank awesome. Thanks so much, Ankita, for taking time to uh, talk with us and looking forward to seeing you at NGConf. Thank you. Likewise. All right. Take care. See everybody okay. in the next episode.